Well, I'm joined by Colin Morgan from Air Synergy and by Labour Senator John Whelan. Thank you both indeed for, for talking to us. John, perhaps I can come to you first of all. You, you live here in County Leash. In fact, you live just beyond the boundary of the, the site here at the, at the Championships. What are, you, what are your concerns about uh, wind turbines and wind power? My main concerns are that what is proposed for the Midlands, 2,500 joint 185 metre turbines and again to put that in context that's the spire on top of Liberty Hall. There are no such turbines as we speak in Ireland, Britain or Europe but they want to make guinea pigs of us here in the Midlands and impose these thousands of turbines 500 metres from people's homes. It's just not acceptable. Well, we don't know whether it'll be 500 metres or more than that or even less than that because there aren't any guidelines published yet, isn't that right? We're still waiting for, 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 for new planning guidelines. Well, the current guidelines say 500 metres mm -hmm. and the wind industry is trying to stick with that guideline. I mean, Senator John Kelly proposed a wind turbine bill in the, in the Shannon which asked for the setback to, to be proportionate to the scale and size of these new turbines, but the government have resisted that. So we do know that the current restrictions is 500 metres, that would be like in your back kitchen effectively for a 185 so metre your, turbine. So your issue is with the scale of these and their proximity potentially to people's homes, not, you're not against the principle of wind turbines as such? Absolutely not. We, we know there have to be renewables and there have to be wind farms, but on a scale that is acceptable and reasonable for families. Right, Colin Morgan, is, is that what's been planned, what, what John Whelan describes? Yes, obviously there's a huge project planned uh, for the Midlands. You know, our synergy are not involved in our project, but it's a huge project. And, you know, it has potential, you know, some very potential positive uh, elements for the country. However, uh, you know, uh, our synergy, we hear what John is saying. We hear people have concerns. And if people have concerns, they need to be dealt with. They can't be ignored. And, but I think it's important to point out that, you know... Is it the case, sorry to put a question, is it the case that the industry is lobbying for, for really very permissive uh, limits in terms of how far they are from people's homes? No, I, I don't believe so. I think the industry can only survive and thrive with the cooperation of all stakeholders and local residents are, are a key grouping in that. So, you know, but I, I think an important point is that wind technology is changing all the time. Mm. I think in a couple of years, you know, the issues that John is raising will, will, will not be as prevalent. For example, us up in, in Longford, are, we are developing a new wind turbine um, that produces twice the power of conventional, of conventional turbines. Mm -hmm. That means three things that are very important. One, turbines can be smaller, so they don't need to be as large as they currently are. Yeah. Secondly, they don't need to be put on top of hills as they currently are. And thirdly, the noise is less. So, you know, the wind industry is on the cusp of significant change, and in Ireland we're at the forefront. And John Whelan, there, there is enormous potential here in, in terms of export value and job creation, is there not, as well as uh, meeting our obligations uh, f in terms of generating renewable energy? We all would we welcome innovation that Colin's talking about, and we all would welcome job creation. But the wind industry so far has promised 70,000 new jobs for the Midlands with this. That's that's pie in the sky stuff. There won't be 7,000 or 700. That's exaggerated and it has led to a level of distrust. I, 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 I recognise that Colin is taking a responsible approach. However, we saw on prime time, on Monday night on RT, where Eddie O'Connor showed flagrant disregard for people. He actually scorned people's genuine concerns. And that's the lack of consultation and lack of genuine concern that has bred fear and division in communities like here in Ratneska. So does, I mean, uh, Colin, Colin Morgan, does, does the industry really have to get its act together in terms of bringing people along with it? Absolutely. As I said, we need all stakeholders with us. Um, you know, hard decisions will have to be made sometimes, but we need people with us, we need to consult, and we need to ensure that the technology has as little uh, impact on people as it possibly can. So what, what, what for you is a correct distance from somebody's home for... Uh, well, I, 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 think it depends on, I think it depends on the size of the turbine. Um, obviously, the turbines that, that, that John is uh, talking about are, are, are very big. Having those close to your home, I can understand why people might be concerned. So but something more to, what, what is it, 120 metres might be a more typical height, would it? Yeah, yeah. well, you know, the, the technology that has been developed, that we're developing, you know, we can you know, produce the same power with about you know, 40, 50 percent of the height. Um, the height of the turbine is, is a huge impact on people, so I think technology developing to reduce the height uh, is, is only good for everybody. We, we know that our, uh, there's uh, developments in terms of shale, gas and oil and so on. Are we, are we building here and investing in a technology which might actually not be necessary? It's, it is necessary. It's already a significant part of, of, of our power. On some days, almost 50% of our power comes from wind. So there's no doubt that wind and all renewables have to be part of the future. Uh, irrespective of targets we've signed up to, you know, from a sustainable perspective for this country. And you, accept, you accept this 40% target of, for renewals by 2020, John Whelan? Well, well, uh, yes? My understanding, the target for 
2020 was to be 20 per cent, now we're saying 40 per cent. I, I accept we have to have wind farms and renewables, but we must make sure that the new guidelines, the new planning regulations that are to be published by the government in November are robust enough to protect family homes and to protect the pristine landscape right down here to the Midlands that people have seen all week. Well, we are and uh, Colin Morgan, thank you both indeed uh, for joining us here this evening at the ploughing. Uh, that's all from uh, Rathaniska uh, for this evening and indeed for this week. Back to you, Sharon, in the studio. Thank you.